Pasca Chubike Okochuku, popularly known as Kubana Chief Priest, is set to bring Otu Arena to Nigeria. The celebrity barman made his intention known when he attended Davido's concert at the arena. While he was discussing with Davido and his crew members, he said, I will buy Otu Arena and I will pay with liquid cash. Yes, he said, I will pay with liquid cash. They thought he was joking and they laughed over it. For those of you who don't know what O2 Arena is, O2 Arena, or often simply called O2, is a massive entertainment complex located on the Greenwich Peninsula in southeast London, England. O2 is one of the biggest indoor ventures in the United Kingdom, second to only Manchester Arena in terms of seating capacity. At its peak, it could hold around 20,000 people. Yes, you heard it. The O2 Arena in England can accommodate 20,000 people at a go. This arena is worth more than 35 million pounds. Performing at O2 Arena is the secret dream of every musician. Yes, every musician. They want to perform at O2 Arena. Here are a list of Nigerians who has performed at the arena. Wizkid, Davido, Bonaboy, T.Y. Savage, Rema, Asake. At the international level, the O2 Arena has hosted Jay-Z, Beyonce, Justin Bieber, Drake, Kanye West, Eminem and a host of other international superstars. And today, we find ourselves in Nigeria witnessing a remarkable investment unfolding in Owere Imo State. This is truly astonishing and almost beyond belief. We have not seen anything like this in Africa. We only see these magnificent structures in the UK, the US, Australia, Germany, and other parts of the developed world. I'm talking about the U Arena in Owere Imo State. Yes, Kubana Chief Priest is building a replica of the O2 Arena in London in Owere Imo State. The genesis of this beautiful investment could be traced back to the embarrassment Kubana Chief Priest suffered at the O2 Arena in London. He was at the arena to attend Davido's concert. But the big man, the multi billionaire from Imo State, was initially denied access into the prestigious O2 Arena due to mistaken identity. Only through Davido's intervention did he gain access. Little did they realize the man they turned down was a multi-billionaire from Nigeria. Upon his return to Nigeria, Kubana Chief Priest decided to invest in building his version of O2 Arena. The project is now underway. It will be completed by 2025. This over version of the O2 Arena will boast a staggering seating capacity of 5,000. Yes, 5,000 seating capacity, setting a new standard for event venues in Africa. This project marks a shift in Nigerian's entertainment landscape. Traditionally, it used to be nightclub and smaller venues where Nigerian artists perform. However, Kubana Chipri's vision introduced a new era of professionalism akin to international standard, no longer confined to makeshift venues. African artists will now have a world-class facility to showcase their talent. The significance of this project extends beyond its scale. It signifies a shift in perception towards nightlife businesses in Africa. Kubana Chief Priest has demonstrated that immense wealth could be generated in this sector, challenging the notion that such venture lack viability. Moreover, the replication of this O2 arena in Owere is a testament to progress in infrastructure and development in Imo State. With reliable electricity supply becoming increasingly available, the stage is now set for Owari to become a cultural hub in Nigeria. The story of Kubana Chief Priest O2 Arena is one of resilience and determination. What began as a setback in London has transformed into a symbol of African ingenuity and ambition. As construction work progressed at the arena, we anticipate a day when the doors of that magnificent venue will be swung open ushering in a new chapter in African entertainment history. But here comes the big question, who is Kubana Chief Priest? Kubana Chief Priest is an entertainer, businessman, show promoter from Nigeria. He came to limelight when he hosted musician Davido with his fiancée Chioma in Kubana Grand Hotel to perform and the occasion attracted big crowd. Kubana Chief Priest was born on 4th of April 1981. He hailed from Imo State, Nigeria. He is a graduate of the Federal Polytechnic Naked Owari. His line of business include nightclubs, hotels, and event organization across Nigeria. He possesses a fleet of cars, Mercedes C-Class, Rolls Royce Phantom, Range Rover, Toyota Prado, Lexus LS, Ferrari, Toyota Land Cruiser, 
Range Rover Sports and others. He is worth over $20 million. This one is for young Nigerians dreaming of becoming successful entrepreneurs like Kubana Chief Priest. Here are some straightforward advice to help you get started. Number one, find what you love. Success often comes from doing what you really enjoy. Take the time to figure out what you are passionate about, whether it's cooking, music, technology, or something else. Focus and start doing that thing that makes you happy. Number two, learn from others. Look for people who have already achieved success in the field you are interested in. These mentors can share their experience and give you valuable advice. Learning from them can save you time and help you avoid common mistakes. Number three, stand out. Think about what makes you different from everyone else. What unique skills or ideas do you bring to the table? Having something special to offer will help you attract customers and stand out in the crowd. Connect with others. That is number four. Building relationships with people in your industry is crucial. Attend events, join clubs, and connect with people of like mind. These connections can lead to new opportunities and valuable support. Number five. Stay up to date. Keep an eye on what is happening in your industry. Technology and trends are always changing, so it is important to stay informed. Being open to new ideas and innovation will help you stay ahead of the game. Number six, make your customers happy. Your customers are the key to your success. Focus on providing excellent services and meeting their needs. Happy customers will keep on coming and will spread the word about your business. Number seven, Keep going even when it is tough. Entrepreneurship can be challenging and you are likely to face setbacks along the way. Stay resilient and keep pushing forward. Even when things get tough, every failure is an opportunity to learn and grow. Number eight, invest in yourself. Never stop learning and improving. Invest in your education and personal development. Take courses, read books, and attend workshops to expand your skills and knowledge. Number nine, take smart risk. Success often involves taking risk, but they should be calculated and well thought out. Do your research and weigh the pros and cons before making any big decision. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Just be smart about it. And number 10, give back. As you achieve success, remember to give back to your community, whether it is through mentoring others, supporting local projects, or volunteering your time. Giving back to the society is not only fulfilling, but also helps build a positive reputation for your business. By following these tips and staying focused on your goals, you can build a successful business like Kubana Chief Priest. Remember, success is a journey. So keep working hard and never give up on your dreams. If you have watched this video till this moment, what are you waiting for? Hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. By sharing this video, more people will be informed about this. Thank you and God bless you. See you in the next video.